Hey guys, welcome back. Ah, I'm excited for today's video because it's this cut crease. So I think this look is beautiful for the holiday time. That's my thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> so today's video is a collab video with the beautiful, stunning, talented, Gorgeous. I don't even know what else I could say because she is absolutely amazing guys. Her name is Ja So she's gonna show you guys this makeup look. It is absolutely stunning. Okay, I'll link her channel her social media links Instagram Everything down below make sure you follow her and everything because you're gonna learn so much Okay, thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys soon Okay, so I'm starting off with a blank face. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in Fawn. And I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to blend this out. This is just going to help to create a nice blank, again, canvas slash base for my eyeshadow that we're going to apply today. The first shadow I'm using today is Makeup Geek Side Chick. Now, it's a very more warm brown. I'm applying this directly in the crease area of the eyes with the Morphe 505 brush. As I'm applying the shadow, I make sure I blend it out. Then I build up on the shadow and then blend it out again just to get that perfect amazing blended out look you really want a nice crisp precise blending job with this cut crease yeah yeah I'm gonna go into a dark brown shadow I'm using the Nunes endless effects eyeshadow palette that is from Selma Haig if you're wondering this uh, brand is sold in CVS and online I'm gonna use an urban gay brush to help outline my crease area with this brown shadow Then after you outline your crease with a dark eyeshadow, I like to blend this shadow up a little bit more so it doesn't look so harsh and everything looks like it's all blended all together, especially when we kind of cut the crease with, with concealer. So to cut the crease, I'm actually again using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn. I'm going to use this with a Wet n Wild brush if you're wondering. And I'm just pretty much applying concealer right under that brown eyeshadow or where you see that crease that was cut. You can cut your crease as dramatic as you would like. I'm very simple, but also I did kind of do it dramatic. You can also add glitter if you want. You can also add another like liner if you would like. It's really up to you. Then for the lid of my eyes, I'm going into Makeup Geek Nostalgic Eyeshadow. Now, this is a fold eyeshadow. At first, when I started working with the shadow, I honestly thought it was very dry. And I was like, hmm, very dry, not really pigmented, but I really had to, like, get my brush in there. Then I'm just going to do a simple wing liner, and I'm using the L'Oreal Liquid Liner, one of my favorites. And where I pretty much start the outer wing is I just follow where my lash line is. That's the most easiest way, so I kind of like just follow where my outer lash line. For lashes today, I'm popping on the Absolute New York Lashes and AEL12. They're really flirty and fun. And they just work really well with this look because it doesn't like overdo the look or it doesn't like the lash doesn't hide the look. So you still see a look through the lashes, which is important. So I'm gonna go through my foundation and concealer part really quickly because I just filmed yesterday. If you guys haven't seen that video, I filmed a drugstore foundation highlight contour video full-on video you guys should definitely go check out that video i'll link it down below all the products i use for my face will be listed down below in the description box but i'm gonna just let you guys watch and see how i do everything just to make your life easier and enjoy the music
I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones with this Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Golden Highlighter and this is actually a new highlighter from Makeup Forever and it is stunning guys it is bomb ha so pigmented then to smoke out my lower lash line i'm dipping into makeup geeks early bird which is a nice orange shadow and i'm just gonna apply this under my lower lash line then for the waterline of my eyes i'm just going to add a black liner and this is from new Nance, if you're wondering <laughs> lastly for the eyes, my mascara, I'm going to be using the Beautiful Roll Mascara. For some reason, I have to get so up close and personal when I do mascara, guys. So, I'm sorry that, <laughs> I'm sorry, girl, that the mirror is blocking. Then for my lips, I'm using the Makeup Forever High Precision Lip Pencil in red. This is just pretty much a lip liner. It's actually a new lip liner from Makeup Forever, and I absolutely love it. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. From a uh, liquid lipstick, I'm using Obsess. Yes, from LA Girl.